everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel or welcome if you are new here um a lot has changed since i posted a video last so the big elephant in the room my hair is now blue i quit my toxic ass job and dyed my hair immediately the same day so it is like a dark blue root with teal and some vibrant blue it's supposed to be all dark blue but i love the way that it turned out regardless um I'm loving this blue, just in general. It looks freaking amazing. Also, I'm gonna do some blue looks with the Blue Moon palette from ColourPop and go from there. So I'm gonna get out things that I forgot to get out in the beginning and we're just gonna cut all this out. Go away. Okay, so to start off, I'm just going to quickly- ugh, there's a hair in my eyeball. Uh, just quickly do my brows with the Iconic London in medium. I am running low on this and I'm kind of sad because I don't really like eyebrow pencils, but like, I'll figure out something. Hopefully. This is a sample I got in Ipsy, and this is in 4.5. concealer on my eyelids. I'm going with the Laura Geller Spackle Concealer in Light. I got this from TJ Maxx and it's okay. It kind of reminds me of the ColourPop concealer just because of the applicator and just the feeling of it. It's a lot more tackier but like not a good tacky. It's kind of like an awkward tacky I guess. I don't know how to describe it really but we're just gonna some on there and I'm going to go in with this Luxie brush it was the Harley Quinn one from like god knows how long ago I just kind of like pat this all in because it feels weird if I use my finger to do this with this concealer <laughs> I shouldn't say that it's a tacky concealer, it's more of like a greasy to tacky concealer. And I don't know if I like it, that's why I'm using it again. I used it about a week ago when I first got it and... Like it said to use a brush for better application and it just kind of like smears it around and makes it really streaky. So... I don't really think I like this concealer, but I'm not gonna hate on it yet. I'll give it a little bit more time. I don't know if I like it with my finger or the brush better. They both kind of feel weird. So going again in with the Blue Moon palette from ColourPop. This was their, I think, first summer collection of this year. And I think right off the bat, I'm going to go in with this uh, bottom color. It's called Fine China. And I'm going to go in with my Went Wild Crease Fluffy Brush. Also, if I have a lisp, I'm on my fourth month, or like just started my fourth month, but ended my 90 days for my Smile Direct Club. So maybe eventually I'll make an update. I know I said I would, and then I kind of forgot, but I do do updates on my Instagram, so. At least I'm doing something with it, I guess. I don't really know what y'all expect from me. I'm kind of everywhere as you can see in this video and why I haven't posted in a few months. Um, but I guess let's talk about my job. So I say it's toxic and why I quit it. Um, 
it was toxic. The manager uh, hated me for literally no reason, although she hired me on the spot and then magically hated me once I started. Um, it was um, an interesting time. 10 out of 10 would not go back there. Um, I do have another job already lined up, thankfully. Um, but basically, I just didn't show up. So uh, that was basically me, me quitting. I wasn't going to quit until this Friday. Um, today's Wednesday, by the way. Uh, but last night, which I don't know what day this video is going up, so all my dates are going to be weird, but I'm not going to put like specific dates either. So, yesterday I worked in the morning and right after my break I ended up throwing up in the bathroom and my manager refused to send me home because I found out later in the day that she didn't believe that I was throwing up because I can't just magically all of a sudden get sick when I said in the beginning of the day that I didn't feel very well but apparently every for everybody forgot that I wasn't feeling good but that happened a lot there, that magically things would get forgotten, so, yeah. Um, I'm not trying to be too, too petty, um, because, like, I love my coworkers, all but, like, two, I should say, um, and I'm not here to create a lot of drama, but, like, the stuff that they pulled was not legal. We'll put it that way. To not send someone home when they're puking is a health code violation. They can get in a lot of trouble for that. Just an FYI. If any of you guys go through that. Um, so, yeah. That was a great start of yesterday. And then... It just all kind of bottled up. There was a lot going on there that... I almost quit multiple times, but like didn't have another job and I just bought my car. Oh my God, you guys, I bought a car. I don't think like I've said that on my YouTube yet, but I bought a car. Um, or I should say like I'm loaning a car, but buying it, you know what I mean? Like loaning to buy, whatever the hell. Um, so that was the only good thing that came out of this job was that I could buy a car. Um, I've been doing more in my photography business. Um, I've had two senior photo shoots. I've had a friend such like, um, like couple photo shoot. It was like two friends with their couples and that whole mess. Yeah, but it was really cool. Um, I've done like a lot of just random things this summer. Um, yeah, I, besides working this shitty ass job, I enjoyed most of my summer. Like, I guess. I don't I don't know. I mean, I worked a lot, but like I made money, so I can't really complain. Other than that, another thing is that they promised to start you at 11. Yeah, I made 950 starting, so another whole reason. And they refused to give me a raise after my 90 days, which they also promise. And if you don't get their little donations, they're gonna take things away from you because it's part of the job, yet it's not really in the handbook. Um, the manager doesn't wear gloves when preparing food. Really nasty, considering she doesn't wash her hands either. But again, not saying the workplace because I'm not trying to get people in trouble, even though I should, but I'm not petty. I'm petty, but not that petty, you know? I'll leave a, I'll leave a review. Um, anyway, okay. Sorry, I'm getting too into my story. Now I'm going into Clued In, which is the dark blue, and just putting it in my, like, outer corner thing, you know? Um, I totally lost where it was, but anyway, there was just a lot of stuff that went down in the four months that I was there that just led me to quitting, but the whole, like, tipping the boat thing was not letting me go home when I was physically sick and contaminate could contaminate other people or the workplace even more, and yeah. We won't go past that. Um, so I just didn't show up today and I texted my hairdresser last night when I decided I was quitting and was like, hey, do you have any openings? Because I wanna do that fun idea that we came up with with dyeing my hair blue. So my idea was that I wanted Coraline Blue because I'm obsessed with that movie. I love that movie and dude, we got it. Like there is some like odd colors in here 
like so it goes like the dark blue that like i wanted teal and then like a vibrant blue at the end and it was just because of the different levels of bleach but like i love it this way it's freaking adorable and i cannot get over it i just i love it but i'm getting too into my story again anyway i don't remember what i was saying again does that surprise you um Okay, yeah, so I texted her last night, said I wanted to dye my hair, and then this morning they called me and they're like, hey, where are you? And I just didn't answer, like, I was not showing up. And they should have known that yesterday because I left basically saying, like, a big fuck you, I was leaving. So, I mean... Yeah. So I also texted my coworker that I'm really, really close with, and she told me that all day they were calling me a bitch, and that they didn't like me, and I was like... You wonder why I did not show up today. Because that's all they did was talk shit about each other or like their other coworkers. There's one lead and the manager and all they did was talk shit about everybody. And like if you told them something personal, they would just tell it to everybody. They didn't really care or like if you did something wrong, the manager wouldn't go directly to you. She would tell everybody and then you have to kind of find out, find out like lastly and it was just poor, poor skills. Also, again, I'm forgetting to say something. I'm going in with the Billie Jean sparkly on my lid. Sparkly wow. Um, but yeah, I just, I was not dealing with it. So about, probably like the beginning of September. So it's like the middle of September right now. It's like the, it's the 18th today. So I guess I am saying, saying dates, but anyway, so it's the 18th and about probably like the beginning of September, I'd say, um, I saw, or we got pizza from my new workplace. I'm not going to say the specific one because, you know, privacy and they were hiring. So I put in an application, heard back pretty much right away and they hired me pretty much right away on the spot. Um, and I can have fun hair and tattoos. Tattoos is a whole other thing I can touch on in a second when I'm like not distracting myself with this. Um, anyway, basically you could not get tattoos unless you got permission, which was kind of BS because they're not my mom and they said they allowed tattoos. So as long as they like weren't offensive on the neck, on the, on the hands, on the neck, on the face, that kind of thing. So like, I don't know why it would have mattered because 90% of the places that most people would get their tattoos, it was hidden and they were still mad about it. Like they were be, they would like literally yell at you if you got a tattoo without asking permission first. Um, so yeah, anyways, I got this job. I start Friday, today's Wednesday, so I start in two days. And yeah, I don't know what else to really update you guys on because I don't really remember what I ever last recorded and what has gone through. Um, I have the blue, not the blue blood. I wish I had the blue blood. That's the next palette I'm getting though, is the blue blood by Jeffree Star. Um, but what I was going to say was that I got the blood, no, not the blood sugar either. The Jawbreaker palette at release. And I don't think I've recorded, I, th I knew I recorded a video, but it got, my computer deleted it for whatever reason. Um, and I didn't have it on my SD card, but I have that and it's beautiful and it's amazing. I don't know if I recorded a video and put it on YouTube already, but like if I did, then it's there and that's probably my last video. And I don't even remember what I'm talking about anymore. But anyway, the Blue Blood is my next palette purchase from Jeffree Star. The ColourPop, oh my God, they just came out with a lavender palette today, lilac lavender, and I'm buying it. Lavender is my favorite color. I don't know why I dyed my hair blue, but blue is like, I love this. Um, anyway, now I'm going with Lumi. It's the white and I'm gonna put it on my inner corner and brow bone. I'll do brow bone first cause I just put a lot. Um, anyway, I don't remember again what I was talking about. Does that really surprise anyone? The answer is no. I'm a very, very forgetful person when it comes to like what I said or stuff like that, like I can remember like some things, but like not really at all. I swear I have like 
short time all timers or whatever because I, yeah it's bad someone can tell me something and the next day I will literally forget everything they just said so that's great okay now I'm going back in oh okay I don't think I said any of these last brushes okay so the one I went into clued in with which is this one was this brush it was the Tetris X is Ipsy I told you guys I can't talk. Um, it's just a fluffy brush. And then for my lid, I went in with the Flexi 245 small shader brush. I'm also gonna use it for my inner corner. And for my brow highlight, I use the Olimar Cosmetics just flat, whatever kind of brush that is. I'm just going back into Lumi and just inner corner which I guess didn't really matter because it just took the, the lid shade anyway they're pretty damn close in color anyway so that is the end of this I can kind of come in just a little bit there's my highlight and my eyeballs oh my god I love this I haven't even put on mascara yet Ugh. I love blue hair. I am so excited to like keep this because I got you guys. I had pink hair for over a year and then as soon as I started that job, I had to wash it out, which I was really mad about because I just gotten it back again and another girl at my job had pink and she didn't have to wash hers out. So I was extra mad about that and she quit before I did. So like, you know. They talked a lot of shit about her too, and I'm glad she left because she did not deserve what she was being treated. And like a lot of people don't. So the other day, another girl tried to quit my job too. And the manager literally talked her out of it. She said that she was stressed at the job. She didn't feel like she was doing things right anymore. And she just wanted to quit. And the manager literally said, I'm just gonna give you more hours. Or less hours, sorry, less hours. And refused to let her quit. So now she's hating her job even more. And like I said, I don't mind my coworkers except for like one or two. But <laughs> yeah. So another thing, I guess I'm just gonna keep going in tangents about this. So our lead kitchen person quit. Like just out of nowhere said she was never showing up again, never even said anything like that she wanted to quit or she was planning to. And, okay, I just need to finish my mascara. Okay, so she was never even planning on quitting, so I was like, hey, I'll work in the kitchen, I will save your ass so you don't have to hire someone new, and work in there. Yeah, she put me in like once a week. And never once even said thank you that for like helping her or anything and yeah we're just not gonna go on more tangents about that okay so I think my mascara is done oh my god I look so freaking good I'm sorry I'm gonna hype myself up right now but like Oof. I love this so much. Self positivity, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that was so cringy and I'm sorry. Okay, so I did a lot of ranting in this video and I'm sorry, but it's been a very long time since I recorded a video and I just said hi to you guys and everything else. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so, like this video if you liked it. Comment down below, have you had horrible managers? Like, did you quit? Did you go through it? Like, did you go to higher ups? That kind of thing. Um, and yeah, do you like my new hair? Do you like this look? You know, just start a conversation with me in the comments. I don't have a whole lot of followers, so like, I will talk with you guys. Like, I got you guys. Um, but yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll hopefully see you soon in another video. Peace out.